Now, I can access all my calendar features and do all of that online and it works just great. But if I choose to, um, Apple also has an app um, called Calendar. This is an Apple app, but I can add Google Calendar to it if I'd like. Um, you may already use this app if you are an iCloud user. You may use this for your personal iCloud account um, calendars, or you may even use it for personal Google calendars um, if you do that. But you can add all of those things together and combine all of those calendars if you want. Um, or it gives you just a, a different view, an app-based calendar as opposed to an online calendar, but they all talk to each other. So whenever you add things to one, it'll automatically show up in the other. So if I wanted to add an, uh, my school's Google Calendar to my Apple Calendar app, um, I can click on the Calendar app, or I can search for it if I don't have it, or, or I can um, check my Applications folder. It's just called Calendar. And then when I open it, it's going to show you what you have in here. Now, I will tell you, I am a calendar junkie. I have a lot of stuff in my calendar, and I have a whole series of different calendars that I like to use and color code. I do a lot of sharing of calendars with other family members uh, and who has access and who doesn't. But with this calendar, uh, if I wanted to add my Google Calendar to it, all I have to do is click on the calendar menu at the top and click Add Account. This is going to ask me what type of calendar do I want to add. I want a Google Calendar. And I hit Continue. And then here it's going to ask me to sign in with my Google account. So this is my school email address. And hit Next. It's going to ask me for my password. Again, same password that I use to log into my Google account. And now it's going to ask me, okay, which apps do I want to use with this Google account? Okay, I can choose to use a whole variety of different Apple apps for that. For right now, I'm just going to leave it as calendars. Uh, but you can also set up contacts and mail to work in here if you would like as well. This is going to connect my school calendar to my personal calendar with all the things going on there. So now if I go and check, now depending on how many events you have in there, it may take a little while to populate and fill in all those things. All right, so if I double check, here it is, my staff meeting that I added shows up. If I double click, it'll show me the, any of the information that I had added in here. Um, here is my fifth grade parent night that I had added. I can double click on that. It shows up, it tells me, hey, this was set up in the cafeteria, these people were invited, here's my address that's in there. Um, it gives me all that information. Now, if I go and click on my calendars button here, again, you probably won't have as many calendars as I have in mind, but you should see uh, a calendar for Google show up in here. And any calendar that I had created in Google all shows up in here. Um, all I have to do is if I right click on that, I can customize the color. So maybe I want it to be Pattonville green. Uh, so I, again, I like to color code my calendars to make them easier to find. You can click calendars again to turn that off. Now if I just wanted to add an event to my calendar, um, all I have to do is simply go to the date and double click. It gives me the same kind of box I can choose to type in my event information, and then here is where I can choose which calendar I want that to go to. So here is my school calendar. I wanted to add an event, and let's say tomorrow night uh, I have math homework, okay? And maybe I'll make this an all day event. Now the only problem here is I cannot add invitees. I cannot add, uh, request or invite guests to uh, these events from Apple Calendar. I also cannot send uh, or reserve rooms from Apple Calendar. Those two things I will have to do uh, in my other uh, web version. But uh, if I'm okay with that, I can just let go and hit return or click anywhere off of it and it's been added to that calendar. And now if I go back and check my web version of the calendar, here it is, that math homework, it's synced up and copied that right onto it. So two different ways to use Calendar. You don't have to use Apple Calendar. It's up to you to choose whichever one you might like to use.